You might have noticed that I actually have somebody as a guest here today. This is Nicole. She's a friend of mine. She actually has some fine wavy hair and I thought I would go ahead and style her hair today on camera. And for those of you who are new here, my name is Michelle. I'm a licensed hairstylist with over 20 years of experience. And on this channel, I use those 20 years of experience to help you have healthy, happy hair. So like I said, we're gonna be styling her hair today and I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step the things that I would do and why I would do them for fine hair. If you've watched any of my other videos, you've seen me do my hair and my hair is definitely a bit different. And then I also have a video that my daughter did. She has wavy hair, but her hair is coarse and thick and we are dealing with fine hair that is a lower density than what my daughter has and I did just color her hair, so she may have some stains up here, <laughs> which she is super happy about. <laughs> and I, she got a haircut recently. I did not cut this, but drop a comment down below if you would like to see me demonstrate doing a haircut on her, and we'll see if we can talk her into coming back on here in front of the camera and Don't doing another much. video, huh? Don't traumatize me too much. <laughs> So we'll see if we can talk her into coming back on camera. <laughs> I'm going to start by rewetting some areas of Nicole's hair since I did just color her and she's been sitting here for a little bit and we want to make sure that we keep her hair nice and wet which can help with the clumping and the frizz, kind of keep the frizz down to a minimum and I feel this is important with any curl type but most especially with wavies and loose curls to really help the curls form and encourage them to do their thing. However, too much water can weigh it down. So I'll show you how to counteract that when you are diffusing your hair. Now that we've got her hair, what we're gonna go ahead and start with the product application. And I'm actually gonna be trying these on her hair. They're the Wee Dodd Curl Shaper line. And I haven't used these yet, so we're trying them out for the first time on her hair. But her hair is the type of hair that these products are made for. They're very lightweight and good for fine, easily weighed down hair. So we're gonna go ahead and give these a try. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is going to be the three-in-one revitalizing milk. And this can be used as a treatment, but can also be used as a primer in the hair. So I'm just gonna go ahead and squirt a couple of pumps and you can see that it's pretty runny but it's got like a slightly milky creamy texture we're just going to go ahead and put a few pumps in now that we've applied that product we're just going to go ahead and use this brush and i have here just a wet brush i'm using this for detangling and i will also be using it for styling her hair so we're just going to go ahead and brush through to make sure that we have that product evenly distributed throughout her hair so now I'm actually going to be styling her hair in a couple of different sections. So I'm going to section off this top of her hair. With mine, if you've seen my videos, I usually do my hair in two sections or in three sections, but we're only going to be doing two sections with hers. So now that we have that section pinned up and out of the way, we're going to go ahead and start with the styling. And this is where I would normally be doing a lot of defining with my hair. However, with her wavy hair, we're not going to focus too much on doing the same type of brush defining techniques. Instead, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be going through and brushing this section out away from her head, mostly to keep it from getting stuck to her head so she can actually get a little bit of lift and volume and not have her hair stuck to her head. And if you want a little extra definition and clumping, then you can trap the hair between your hand and the brush to help with the clumping and the definition. But we don't wanna overly do the definition on fine wavy hair because that can drag the waves right out of the hair before you even get started styling the hair. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that here and start to see some of those waves appear. So we're gonna be doing the top portion similar to the bottom portion. We're gonna go ahead and lift it 90 degrees at a 90 degree angle from the head to keep the hair from being stuck and flattened to the head and to get a little bit of volume. And now that we have her hair kind of lifted up off of her scalp and we've kind of started some clumps going, we're going to go ahead and apply the gel. And now this Weedad gel is 
So as you can see, this gel is a little bit on the runny side. It kind of moves, but it's not too runny. It's not a watery gel and it looks a little bit creamy as well. It's got some moisture in there, which is great. So we're just gonna go ahead and start applying that to her hair. And I'm just going to kind of put it on over the top, kind of glazing it and running it through, not really raking it because I don't wanna break up the clumps that I just kind of worked to put in there, but I do wanna get the product kind of evenly distributed throughout her hair. So we'll just keep adding kind of a palmful amount, like maybe slightly more than a quarter size amount each time that we do it. And I am kind of putting it in sections. However, the sections are pretty large. So the side, part of the back, now I'm working on the back here and picking it up and kind of scrunching it in as well. And we're doing the same thing over here. Again, kind of glazing it over the top. And you're gonna also want to start to scrunch and get some of those waves going in there and you can already see they're starting to pop up in there. So when you go ahead and scrunch the hair, you know you've got enough water and product in the hair when you hear a squelchy, squelchy sound, which Nicole was just laughing hysterically at that I probably had to edit. <laughs> or maybe I didn't, I don't know. <laughs> and then one final thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna have her flip over and I'm gonna do the same thing from underneath. I'm gonna run it over the top of her hair and kind of distribute it and then scrunch. Okay, so now that we have that applied, I'm keeping her upside down, and this is where a lot of wavies would probably plop their hair or micro plop. I tend to not do that. I don't really wanna remove any of the product that I have in there, or sometimes plopping can cause like some wonky curls and waves to form. So we're just gonna go straight from here into diffusing her hair. So I'm going to change the camera angle and see if we can get this taken care of. I have never done this, so bear with me. So first I focus on drying her roots and I actually cut out a lot and sped this up. So I spent a little more time doing the roots than what it looks like. And then here I'm just lifting up on her hair just to kind of help counteract gravity because with all of that weight of the water and products in her hair, even though the products are lightweight, her hair is super fine and really easily weighed down. And just by lifting it up, and keeping gravity from acting on it, it kind of helps the curls to form without getting dragged down. And then uh, here you can see I'm actually starting to put her hair in the bowl. At this point, her hair was more than 50% dry, so I was able to do this without it causing a lot of frizz. So I um, just continue that around her head with just putting her hair in the bowl, bringing it up, and helping it to get to probably 80% dry, 70% dry. And then I start flipping her head from side to side and drying it that way. And then I flip her around the other way and dry from the back to finish everything off. Okay, and we are back from diffusing, and this is what we've got going on. As you can see, she's got some great waves and even some spirals in here. She's literally, like, she kept looking at it and kept saying, what did you keep saying? It's so curly. Yeah, like, she's never, <laughs> she's never she's seen missing. her hair looking like this before, so she didn't realize that this is the potential that she had here. And, of course, like an idiot, I didn't take any before pictures or anything like that, so we're going to see if we can find a picture. She has a picture of herself that we can pop in here, and I'll just pop it up here somewhere, hopefully right around here and you can see kind of how her hair normally looks. And I am going to go ahead and finish this up now that we are done diffusing. So the last step, same step as what I always use with my own hair, and that is gonna be using the Verb Ghost Oil. And to shampoo and conditioner hair, we did actually use the Verb Ghost Shampoo and Conditioner since her hair is really lightweight and really fine. We wanted something that wasn't gonna weigh it down and the Verb stuff is really pretty weightless. So we're just gonna go ahead and very gently smooth this over the hair to kind of help with some of those little flyaways. And now this gel gave her no cast whatsoever. It's just her hair feels really super soft. Like, have you felt your hair yet? No. Ooh, that is soft. Yeah. Seems so soft. Yeah, so really super soft. 
So there's no cast to really break up or anything, but I'm going to do what I normally do and just kind of scrunch it in here and there just to make sure that it's really worked into those ends. Give a little bit of zhuzh. Fluff her up a little bit. Sorry, what was that word again? Zhuzh. We're just gonna fluff her up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this, this whole video is just gonna be a gag reel, I swear. I'm just not even gonna make a gag reel. We're just gonna keep it all in there. All right, so this is what we've got for her hair. And you can see she does have like some elongated spirals in here, but she does have waves as well. So she's got a mixed bag of curl patterns, which is entirely normal. And then I'm just gonna have her kind of turn a little bit to show the back. Here is the back. You can kind of see back here it is less curly and more wavy. So, and there is a couple of spots here where it's a little bit damp, but it's not too bad. So we're just going to allow that to finish drying. For the most part, it's probably, like I would say, 98% dry. So not a big deal to let the rest of that go. Turn back around. What do you think? I love it. It's so pretty. <laughs> and you have your own personal so... instructional video, <laughs> right? <laughs> so you know how to recreate it because it's literally your own head. So anyway, I am going to go ahead and conclude with this. I'm just going to maybe recap a little bit some of what I did with her hair. I used very lightweight products because of her very fine, easily weighed down hair. I also kept it wet while I was working with it and I didn't overwork it by doing a ton of defining and a ton of scrunching and really going nuts with it. And as you can see, she still has a quite a bit of curl, more so than she's ever really seen in her hair. So you don't really have to overwork it and overworking it can and does cause excess frizz. So we now have nice waves, nice curls, and yes, there is some frizz because we all have frizz. It's part of curly hair. It just goes with it, unfortunately. But So she's got a little bit, but it's not too horrible. It's pretty manageable, and overall, she just looks like she's got some really nice, healthy, wavy, curly hair. If you like this video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up. If you'd like to see more content like this, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell while you're at it so that you know when I upload. If you have any questions, comments, or anything that you'd like to see, or if you would like to see me demonstrate a haircut on Nicole's fine hair, then just drop that down below in my comment section. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye.